and welcome to a shortened IGTV version of my proper blog post review of the John Lewis JL110SE. So this was my first sewing machine, um, I've now upgraded and I thought it was, you know, a suitable time to do a little review. So um, I actually have misquoted myself elsewhere, I bought this machine in 2016, or it's bought for me as a Christmas present, and prior to that I'd used my mum's, um, do you know me? But this machine is a fantastic beginner's machine. It has to be said, I basically taught myself to sew on this machine. So I'm quite sad to see it go, however I'm giving it to a friend who's gonna learn to sew on it, so her purpose is continued. Uh, so a little bit about this machine, it's got a 14 stitch option, four step buttonhole, it's so simple. Uh, you basically have your stitch selector, stitch length, stitch tension there. You can't change the width on this machine, but you do have a width of zigzag option here between the B and the C, where you can just dial it slightly to allow for that. Uh, it's a standard uh, press your foot and everything. It doesn't go extra high. Uh, standard lever. There's no automatic needle threader. It really is bare bones. And obviously the front comes off to allow you to sew sleeves, etc. And in this element, you get a little bag with some extra bobbins, a quick unpick, a couple of extra needles and a darning plate as well. So it doesn't give you loads, but it gives you enough. You're not going to need any more as a beginner. That's what I'd say for this machine. So I've done a proper blog post on this, um, but I'm going to summarise like my top three things and my top three reasons for upgrading. So reason one is you know my top top reason is as i've said this is a fantastic beginner's machine it is almost impossible to make a mistake on this machine um and if you do it's not going to be anything drastic it doesn't run away with itself it is it's really like a solid work machine and that brings me on to reason two it's so reliable that's one thing i'd say four years sewing on this i've never had any problems i've never had to get anyone to see to it um, I've never had anything I can't fix myself or wasn't actually my fault. Uh, so it is, it's super reliable. It is like a cart horse, if we're thinking about sewing horses in that way. It just keeps going, really. Um, and it's fantastic for light to medium weight fabrics. And then my third top point about this machine is that it's so affordable. Now, I know they've gone up a little bit in price since I first got mine. But when I bought this, the standard non-special edition, so the JL110, um, was 89 quid. And I think the special edition was just over 100. I think it's gone up now, so the special edition is 120. But that's still one of the most affordable beginner options on the market, and you really do get a lot for your money. Although it's got John Lewis coating on it, it's in fact like its motor and its mechanisms are a Janome machine. So if you're buying extra feet for your machine, Janome ones will fit, which no one told me actually when I bought this, so it's really helpful. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a great little machine. However, I've got to the point where I do need an upgrade. So one of my big reasons for upgrading is this machine is fantastic for light to medium weight fabrics. It can't handle heavy weight, unfortunately. It gets very upset uh, and the bobbin jams and it's a whole thing. Uh, it's a lovely machine, but it just doesn't have the punch to go through fabric in that way. Um, and equally, I find my machine, yours might be different, but my machine eats lace and chiffon and anything really fine. It just, it really gets stuck on the feed dogs here and it just eats it. Uh, so not ideal if you want to move into like advanced sewing, like I'm quite interested in sewing bras and sewing like coats and some more advanced garments and this machine can't quite keep up. Um, the second thing is very much personal to me because I hate buttonholes and the four step buttonhole on here is infuriating. Um, I find it so frustrating. I don't know why option three exists because it only goes backwards. So you can't double, you can't uh, go back and forth because step three goes backwards and then you can't reverse because if you press reverse, you're still going backwards. <laughs> so I found that immensely frustrating. Um, and honestly, after over four years of sewing on this machine, it's sort of shaking itself apart. That's one thing I would say, like earlier this morning I was winding the bobbin and it slipped off and it shakes so much that it ended up winding all round the bobbin spool here and uh, causing me great frustration. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's a great little machine but mine is now starting. The years are taking their toll on her and I really have worked with this machine so it is time for her to go to someone who is going to learn again and not try and force her to sew much more complex things. Um, but. I think overall I would recommend this as a beginner's machine. If you're intermediate to advanced, 
you need to head up market really but for the money this machine is exceptionally good and honestly as a beginner it'll do 99% of what you want to do um, which is you know as much as you can ask for from a beginner machine if you enjoyed this video let me know give me a like I've never done one for Instagram before uh, it's really exciting and uh, yeah head over to the blog to read the full length review of this post um, where I've gone into some detail about some of the more technical issues I experienced but also some of the technical things I enjoy so thank you very much for joining me I'll do one of these videos for my new machine once I've got to grips with it but otherwise I'll see you guys soon